Hello guys, welcome to channel phone. My name is in today's video. We are doing tips, tricks, hidden features and settings on the video of the Poco M5. And today we have the 4GB, 64GB power black variant of the Poco M5. So guys, let's start from the most interesting feature. So first of all, the most interesting feature is without pressing any buttons, I'm just directly gonna unlock my phone and directly get into the home screen. So you can see I'm not pressing any buttons. I'm just picking up my phone. And you can see instantly my home goes to the home screen so how does it work so first of all you need to go to settings and then you need to go to the passwords and security so passwords and security then you need to turn on the face unlock okay so i have already used the face unlock and you need to recognize the face unlock and then after that stay on lock screen after unlocking you should disable that then all you need to do is then you need to go to the lock screen and you can see raise to wake an option is there you need to turn on that too so raise to wake is turned on and stay on lock screen after unlocking is turned off so when combining these two options what happens is when your phone is locked and when you pick up your phone instantly raise to wake that means the phone would be turned on and then your face will be recognized and stay on lock screen after unlocking is turned off so instantly when you pick up the phone face will be recognized and instantly goes to your home screen so that's really convenient so the next would be regarding the gesture shortcuts. So going to the settings, going to settings and going to the additional settings and you can see gesture shortcuts. So first of all, let's start from the launch Google Assistant. So if you press and hold this power button, you can see instantly the power menu appears. And if you are really interested in the Google Assistant, just you can just uh, press and hold the power button for 0 0.5 seconds. Just you can turn on this and you can instantly activate the Google Assistant. But I do prefer this uh, power menu. And then for the screenshot, just three finger swipe is for the screenshot. And you can see the screenshot is taken or you can do volume down plus power button for the screenshot also so that's all oh, these are the two options for the take a screenshot then we have partial screen that means if this portion of the uh, phone is really important and this is a portion which can considers of some conversation data, that means this area is not to be shared only this area is shared so we usually do is just take a screenshot then we should crop and so on no need of that just uh, place your three fingers on the screen just press and hold over here and you can see a draggable area would be appear over there and you should just drag the area which you need to share only then so that means you can hide this area and then just tap the uh, save or you can just directly press the share to instantly share so that's really convenient so that's the uh, partial switch. then the next is launch camera so uh, you can see i have already assigned the double press the volume down button when the screen is locked for the camera and for the turn on the touch you can see double press the power button so i need to use two functions that's why i didn't use the launch camera for the power button so what happens is when i just lock my phone and i'm just double press uh, my power button let me lock my phone and double press the uh so you can see instantly my camera opens when i press the double press the volume button you can see once again i will show you so volume down button double press so you can see the camera is opens and when i lock the phone and i double press the power button you can see torch is on so you, i can make use of these two functions at really is so that is what it is on the gesture order cuts so you can see all of them and then the next one is double tap the fingerprint sensor so you can activate few of the uh easy like screenshot torch and all but i wouldn't recommend this because if you really smart this fingerprint every time for uh, extra functions this uh, eventually this would get slower so i won't recommend this function but still if you are really into it you can just enable any of the options and you can just double tap over here like this and you can see the calculator open so i just assigned to the double tap the fingerprint sensor for the calculator that's why the reason and currently i'm using the uh what we call the button navigations so i can assign extra functions that means uh, long press the home button for the google lessons long press the menu button for the screenshot you can see long press the menu button screenshot is taken and long press the back button uh, you can see you can see assigned to any of the functions or you can just set none and power plus home power plus menu so many of them can be done so you can see I have sent, turned on the power plus home to the camera. So how does it work? So just you need to place your finger on the home as well as on the power at the same time. And you can see the camera opens. So that's really convenient it's personally, uh, personal preference. But I do really like the gesture navigation. I would be uh, coming to that later. And let's uh, let's check few more functions. So next is I want to add more. Just turn on. You can see it is already turned on. So you need to just add swipe from the home to the uh, right. So you can see one hand mode is turned on and to turn off just tap or anywhere else so you can just it's uh, just turned off and apart from that you can have an option called memory extension actually currently i'm having the 4 gb 64 gb variant you can extend it 1 gb from the internal storage so that effectively makes 4 plus 1 uh, 5 gb for the ram so it's a sort of ram helper not effectively as a ram okay so still it's a happy to have that feature called a rex and ram feature 
then let's move to the interesting features like the app log app hide and all so just swipe up over here and just do a double uh, left swipe over here and you can see hide app icons option would be arrived so i have already set on the hide app icons so i am just typing that means drawing my pattern over here and you can see hidden app icons so you can just add apps over here and currently i'm adding the facebook as well as file manager i'm just tapping over here and you can see facebook plus file manager is already added and now if i just go on here you can't see facebook plus file manager so all you need to do is go to your launcher and just do uh, double swipe over here to the right and instantly you can see an option called hide app icons and you can just instantly draw your pattern or draw your pin and you can just hide your applications see and if you need to unhide, just tap over here and uh, just untick of them and then just select and uh, your applications will be back here. You can see Facebook as well as file image. And then the next thing is would be regarding app lock. So where would be it? It's in the apps and you can see app lock option. So I have already turned on the app lock option also. So I have turned uh, app lock for the file manager as well as Facebook. So you, you only need to do is just go to your Facebook and you can see it is already locked you can either use a fingerprint scanner or you can use your pattern but the thing is each and every time uh, when the uh, exit in the app you need to have this logger then you need to do is just tap over here and you can have an option called lock settings so by default it would be on the when the device is locked so once you open the facebook till the phone is locked the facebook could be open no need of second time no need of uh, unlocking with your pattern and all so each and every time if you need to unlock with your pattern then when the device is locked or the after the app is succeeding that means at every time when you just you can see it uh, asked again is the second time you can see again so each and every time it will be asked for my or for your uh, pattern or your fingerprint or face Okay, next thing is, okay, so if you are already logged this application and if you don't want the notifications of such apps, then you can have an option to want to hide these notifications. So you can just turn on and you can hide the notifications also. Okay, so next is written privacy protection password. So I have already turned on the privacy protection password with the fingerprint. Okay, so pattern of the fingerprint. So I have already turned on and then you can hide your photos, files and notes over here. So you can select the photos over here, then you can click the use and you can select your photos which you want to hide and just click the hidden so it would be one shown in the gallery it would be hidden in your private safe and if you want to just give it back just unhide them okay so that is really quick and convenient then let's quickly go to the few of the other options like uh, display you can see uh, you can have the dark mode so for more convenient and then you can schedule from which time to which time start time and end time or from your time to turn and off on and off time and uh, you can set the reading mode for the maximum eye comfort mode and all while you time the reading and you can have the color scheme options we would be the maximum or uh, best one and you can have the refresh rate you can for the maximum battery less consumption you can switch to the standard 60 hertz and that's it regarding there and then we have the home screen over there and you can see minus one screen option is there so I have currently set to the end, done, none. And by default, it would be on the app wall. You can already set the Google Discover or something else. You can, I would show you the vault. So you can see this is the vault, but it is really annoying. So I just press and hold over there and just tap over there. And uh, I just minus one screen to none. Okay, that's my personal preference. And apart from that, you can turn on a double tap to low screen feature over there. And apart from that, you can see currently my reasons are arranged like this. And if you want to arrange in a different way, so you need to just arrange items in reason to vertically. And now you can see it's all arranged vertically. Okay, so that's based on some personal customization and all. And you can see currently this phone is uh, 4 GB plus 1 GB of external RAM is there. And if you want to know how much memory is used, just turn on the show memory status feature. So you can see 1.6 GB is available out of uh, 4 plus 1 GB available so it would be shown like exactly like that so that's also is really convenient okay and uh, and you can see an option called uh, you can see a light widget of cleaner is appearing over there so that means it's a 4gb 64gb so if i'm a heavy user it would be uh, using my ram and the phone gets eventually slow so uh, you would be using any of the third party application like clean master ram booster for such uh, cleaning your applications and make your phone faster no need of that just press and hold over here that means you need to take your widgets and first option you can see over here is the cleaner option so by default you can just tap the cleaner over here and you can see just tapping over here you can see 47 mb is cleared so that's really convenient more than downloading your third party apps and do some cleaning stuff and all then the next would be uh, the full screen gestures so Go into the additional settings and you can see a full screen display option over here and you can need to turn on the full screen gestures so you can see the full screen gestures and if you want to hide this gesture that means this indicator just turn on this also 
so full screen emoji display just swipe up for the home and for the back either you need to do left swipe or you need to do the right swipe for the back and for the reason swipe up and stop at the middle so that's really convenient and now that's the basic main functions which is allocated over on the settings and now let's look at the camera settings so here is the camera and we have the document mode pro mode so we can adjust the aperture iso white balance or we can use the 15 mb mode so that's really nice and then we have the document for for the better scanning black and white enhanced uh, texture detection and all and then we have the video and we have the options for the customization on the video recording 720p uh, at 30 fps on sort of a macro mode with lines for the better um, angle and all and for the movie frame is also available then for the photo we have some uh, filters up or options over there and then we have the aspect ratio timers voice shutter frame or macro mode till shelf time burst so we have the tons of customization over there along with the grid lines then we have the portrait mode which we can adjust the blur and all and we have a few more options over there and we have the night mode and then for the more we have the 50 meter dedicated mode then we have short video panorama hyperlapse and as well as slow motion that was regarding the quick tips tricks and features and settings walking video of the poco m5 so guys that's a signing off it's for mania